Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Kovac Enterprises. Uh, this is going to be episode two for the uh, 1955 Chevrolet Nomad. Uh, this is part of the uh, Chris Cartel Celebration of Life tribute. And uh, so far, we've made some progress. Uh, we started in on the uh, body of the uh, Nomad itself. And uh, let kind of spin this around here and kind of show you some of the things that I did before I went ahead and painted this up. Uh, first off, uh, we went ahead and glued this part into the uh, firewall since it's going to be the same body color. And then when we flip it around here, uh, we did the same thing on the back end for the uh, tailgate itself. So that's going to be the outer tailgate as well as the inner tailgate was glued into place. Um, I know it's got uh, an option for uh, the hinges where you can actually, it's a movable tailgate to go up and down, but I went ahead and I'm just going to be displaying it on my shelf. So uh, we just went ahead and glued it into place for the time being right now. And uh, we also kind of bring this in as well. We uh, went ahead and uh, did the hood as well. So the paint that I actually uh, used to uh, airbrush the body with was my go-to, which is uh, it's kind of hard because I like, but I'll read it out to you. This is the uh, Folk Art Silver Sterling. It's the uh, 2964 uh, number. It's a multi-surface uh, paint. It is water-based. So uh, this is what I use to actually uh, put down the underlying coat. Uh, instead of using like, your basic uh, gray primer. Uh, of course, what I used to cut the paint down with in my airbrush was basically the uh, windshield washer fluid. And uh, basically what I do is I'll take my cup as you can see right here and I'll pretty much fill the uh, cup halfway up with the uh, silver stirring paint and then I'll drop in about uh, oh, maybe about eight to ten drops of the windshield wiper fluid stir around with a toothpick and once the uh, the paint actually drips off the toothpick I know I'm at a, a good consistency uh, to uh, for the air uh, Airbrush to uh, spray it onto the actual uh, body of the car. So that's the way I do things to <clears throat> lay down the paint. And uh, as you can see, this is the uh, final result as far as the uh, my version of the primer before I lay the uh, base coat, which is I'm going to try to go with the um, the lower part here of the body with black and the uh, roof color as being white so but uh, as far as the silver sterling uh, paint you can see one more time that it's looking pretty good it's nice and even all the way across and of course I just don't do one coat I kind of do a light coat and build it up to this is about uh, three to four coats but I let it dry in between each coat so that the final result is what you see. So with that being said, uh, stand by and we will see the uh, next step which is the uh, two-tone color of the black and white paint on the outside body of the, uh, of the uh, Nomad. So stand by, we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And as you can see, we uh, went to phase two on painting the uh, base colors I was mentioning before. Uh, it's the two-tone uh, pick that I did for the white and the black for the 55 uh, Nomad. Uh, so before we kind of turn this around, the actual paint that I used uh, for the top roof of the Nomad I basically use this uh, Craftsmart white satin acrylic paint. So I had a little bit of that left over, so use that. And then as far as the uh, black, 
for the lower part of the Nomad, I use the uh, folk art. This is the uh, sequin black. Uh, the number on it's six six one. It's the metallic acrylic paint. Uh, so we went ahead and used that as well. And when everything was said and done, and uh, you know, I put you know several layers of uh, paint on this uh, till I liked it. And uh, after I did that. We uh, went ahead and used our friend here, the Pledge Floor Care product, to uh, actually brush on the uh, Pledge uh, multi-surface finish on the uh, car once uh, I was satisfied with the results of the, uh, the paintwork. So with that being said, uh, we'll do a quick little turnaround here so you can kind of see from all angles. So there you go. So this is kind of like what we end up with here for the two basic uh, tone colors. All right. Now, as far as the uh, you know the door handles and the trim work around the windows and everything, uh, I went back to my uh, folk art. Uh, silver yeah silver sterling and uh, with a fine brush I actually brushed it in I tried uh, kind of using the Molotov uh, chrome stuff but uh, I was kind of having some issues with it because uh, a few of them had to kind of get refilled on it and um, it just didn't kind of work out for me at this time so I just went ahead and chose the uh, silver sterling and took my time and and uh, like I said, did the uh, trim work around the uh, the windows and everything, uh, as well as some of the uh, raised uh, lettering on the tail end of the uh, of the vehicle itself. I think it says Bel Air on it. Uh, so both on that side, you can see here. And basically, what I used to apply that, uh, I took an actual toothpick and I cut the tip at a 45 degree angle and. I just dipped the tip of the toothpick into the silver sterling paint and just kind of dabbed it onto the raised letterheads of the uh, body of the uh, Nomad there to uh, you know try get as best I can with it. So it turned out pretty good. So I did that and as well as the uh, door handles and the uh, keyholes, uh, all that's in the silver sterling to kind of assimilate the uh, chrome. Uh, I also did the uh, back here out of the tailgate. Um, that's kind of hard to see here, but there is some raised lettering on the very top of the tailgate that's uh, spelled out as Nomad. So uh, I went ahead and used the toothpick method and uh, scribed the paint over that as well, as well as the keyhole locking mechanism for the tailgate. And of course, then we have the uh, other side here for the Bel Air. Uh, raised lettering head with the insignia of the Chevrolet and the same thing with the uh, door handles on this side here um, I may give one more coat of the pledge on the body and then what I'll probably end up doing let me get my little pointer here um, I may go ahead and take some painters tape and uh, you know tape on either side of this part here and then just kind of run a nice line with the silver stirring or well, I may just leave it the way it is haven't figured that one out yet we'll see how it goes but uh, yeah that's where we are with the uh, the paint on the uh, the Nomad here so I think it came out pretty nice and of course uh, we went back with the hood I'll show you that and uh, so that came out real nice once again I mean I probably did about three or four coats uh, on this as well and with the metallic finish on there it almost kind of sparkles in the, you know, underneath the light so it's got the kind of the metal uh, chips in it I guess you want to call it uh, I haven't gotten to the uh, Chevrolet insignia on the front part of the hood yet uh, I'll probably still use the same method with the toothpick and then uh, you know color in some red and stuff just uh, you know for the logo for the Chevrolet 
So that is the top part of the hood there. Of course, I did the underside as well. So there's that. All right. So, uh, like I said, we're moving along. Uh, like I said, this is kind of like episode number two in this series. And uh, so, so far, I'm uh, kind of pleased with how it's turning out. And uh, so, we'll kind of leave it at that. And uh, until next time, uh, we'll get ready for our next uh, video, which will be episode number three. And uh, like I said, we're moving quite along here with the. Uh, the build of the uh, 55 Nomad. So with that being said, uh, I hope everybody has a good day and uh, we will catch you on the flip side. So until then, Kovac Enterprises is signing off. See you later. Bye.